I love you, boo. You look so good to me. This Pad Thai sushi with crab is on point. How awkward am I, though, really? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm like a 25. I just found this Michael Kors sweater for $30. <sighs> Good morning, afternoon. It's Tuesday. What's today's date? Oh, it's December 6th. This is my outfit. I got my overalls and my sweater and my hat and my shoes and laundry that needs to be folded. But I got things to do, so we're gonna go. We had a lot of fun last night. Uh, I was not feeling like that great though, uh, so I was just kind of tired and just worn out during the event, but it was really cool. Last year when we went, it was not a Monday Night Raw live event. It was just a show. So the way it operates is very different because if you know anything about WWE, they actually do live shows which are recorded and, and on television or on the WWE Network every Monday night. And so we were at a live recording. So that was really cool. It was very different. It did remind me a little bit of when I went to the American Idol live recordings. Um, kind of knew what to expect, but it was very fun. We got into it. Some of the big names were there. It was very dramatic. It ended on a super dramatic note that me and Angelo, I didn't record this part. I wish I would have, but like me and Angelo, at the very last scene of the night, our mouths were wide open. We were like, Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. And if you're a WWE fan and you know what happened, comment down below. We'll see who the real fans are. And I only got into WWE because of Angelo. He is a fan. Now he's not like a crazy diehard fan. Like he's not intensely into it, but he does enjoy WWE. We do have the network. <laughs> So he likes it and I think it's fun too and truth be told when I was a little girl my brother and I used to play WWE like we would have wrestling matches and we would record the wrestling matches so I grew up on that WWE son although I don't know all of the wrestlers names I'm still trying to figure that out but the storylines are genius. Angela and I were talking about like the development in WWE and how everything has kind of changed over the last few years. Um, and I think it's genius. From my understanding, I think Stephanie is the one, is that Angela? He's gonna be coming down soon and going to his car. But from my understanding, Stephanie McMahon, is that her name? I think so. We're just gonna go with that. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna put it right here. But Stephanie kind of took over the network a few years ago, and since then it's been like really transforming into something. And I think it's genius. They've changed from just like wrestling matches to like drama storylines, like reality TV stuff. And I think it was a really good move. They're also doing cartoons. Like it blew my mind. They're doing like Scooby Doo cartoon, a Flintstones cartoon. Like these wrestlers are being featured in all this different stuff and they're doing voiceovers for all this different stuff. There's Angelo. He's right there. He looks so cute today. <laughs> you look good, but we look good. But that was fun. So off to run errands and honestly I hope I don't get pulled over again because the car situation has still not been solved. Shandai, Shandai. But honestly I think it'll be okay. There's Angelo. Right there. I love you boo, you look so good to me. You are so awesome and amazing. I stroke your face, your beard is so nice. You are the best husband and I'm your wife. <laughs> I'm at the domain. I'm gonna go to Macy's, H&M, and the Apple Store. And then I'm gonna go to the other side of the domain and go buy some more uh, finish spray. I just spit. I'm gonna try to find uh, my little YouTube friend that we never met in person. We were supposed to, we had plans to meet in person. Her name is Kaden. She has a channel. Her and her boyfriend just moved here from somewhere else in Texas. I really don't know, but uh, we were supposed to hang out last month 
and she like sprained her arm or something. I don't know, but she works at the Mac counter in the Nordstrom. So I'm gonna go see if she's at work and like meet her in person and buy some finishing spray from her. And then I'm gonna go to Nordstrom Rack and that's it. And then I'm gonna go home. So come along with me on this journey, friends. Yum, I got sushi and this different kind of kombucha. I've never had this before. Ruby Rad. I'll let you know how it is. But this Pad Thai Sushi with crab is on point. On point. Girl, that lunch was on point! And this kombucha is so good! It's kicking kombucha, all natural, energizing tea, Ruby Rad with grapefruit and jasmine. And it is made in Houston, Texas. And it is so good, literally the one of the best tasting kombuchas I've ever had even better than live I think the live one which is produced here in Austin that one's good too I like synergy I like live and now this kicking kombucha is on point boo because this one tastes a lot more like tea and less like vinegar so for all of you people out there who cannot stand the taste of vinegar I think at least the ruby rad one I haven't tried the other flavors but the ruby rad one tastes like tea to me I mean, it has a little bit of vinegar taste in it because there's vinegar in it, but not as strong as some of the other kombuchas, so. Girl, girl, get you some kombucha, girl. Girl. I figured, okay, people would be like, kombucha's so expensive. Ugh, why do I buy kombucha? What's it for? Why is it $4? Ugh, kombucha. But here's the thing, like, Especially today, <clears throat> on days like today where I'm not feeling that 100, you know, <sighs> when I would be spending or I could be spending a nice chunk of change on some Starbucks to get some energy and um, all that jazz, I'm going to spend some money on some kombucha instead, which is better for me and has less sugar, less calories, less carbs, all that jazz, plus has probiotics. Plus, it's cheaper than what I would normally order from Starbucks. So, girl, get your life and get you some kombucha. I literally passed three Mac stores just to come here to see if Kaden is working today. So, I hope she is, girl. You watching this video? I came here for you, girl, because I passed three Mac stores and I came here for you. So, I hope you're here so I can say hello and give you a hug in person. How awkward am I though, really? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'm like a 25, so. But I'm having so much fun with myself today. Did that sound weird? <laughs> I'm having fun all by myself. I'm just having a grand old time. Grand time. Here we are at the Nordstrom's. It's gonna be fabulous. Well, that was a success. She was there. She uh recognized me right away which is great it made that a lot less awkward you know so we hugged we chatted really quickly she seemed like she was uh pretty busy so i don't know there she had papers out and putting lipsticks up i don't know exactly but i got my fix plus met her in person she's doing well we chatted a minute. <laughs> so I'm at the door door domain. The domain north side. It's getting very fancy around these parts. There's lots of new stores opening. Lots of great things happening. Oh my god, there's a lush! These boys are riding skateboards! There's a lush! There's a lush! Jesus! <laughs> I gotta come to that lush. Another day, another time, another dollar. Now we at that Neiman and Marcus, girl. What you know about that Neiman and Marcus and that Louis though? Louis, 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 Louis. Ooh, I didn't want to go this way. No. You have turned, turn the car around because you went the wrong way. 
I'm not used to this north side. So far I found nothing for guys. Nothing. I'm looking at shoes. Uh, fun fact, after I look at the adult shoes, I always look at the kid shoes because I'm a child sized adult. <laughs> Well, now I'm in Saks Off Fifth, which is the outlet for Saks, and I've never been in here before, but y'all, it's about to be on and pop. It's about to be on. They got some good deals in here. Better than Nordstrom Rack. Let's go. this Michael Kors sweater for $30. Oh my god. From $135 to $29.97. Girl. Girl. It's so soft. And it's only $25. And it's huge. This place is it. Oh girl. Okay, Saks off Fifth. The outlet for Saks Fifth Avenue. Girl, it was bomb. I was so tempted to buy so much stuff, but I got two gifts for two of my brothers there. I got one gift for my one of my other brothers at Nordstrom Rack. Honestly, I was unimpressed with Nordstrom Rack, especially the stuff they had for guys. Was like, please, girl, please. But at Saks Off Fifth, woo! They had so much and so many good deals, like. I got really, really nice quality items. I got two items and spent about 30 bucks. And they're like really nice, like girl, girl. So yeah, get you to Saks off Fifth. I was really tempted to buy shoes for myself. Girl, I walked that whole store. They had purses, they had shoes, they had clothes. Really, really cute stuff. Quality stuff, too. I'm shocked at the fact that they had more stuff and overall, like, better discounts than Nordstrom Rack did. They even had a $5 off your purchase or something like that. And it might have been more if you spent more money, but I got $5 off my purchase with a coupon. And Nordstrom don't do that, girl. They don't be doing that unless you open a credit card. No, thank you. No credit cards for me. But I'm so excited. That was so good. Overall, it was an extremely successful shopping day. I got one, two, three, four, five, five gifts, pretty much. Well, I got three things at Williams Sonoma. Actually, it's not Williams Sonoma, it's Sur La Table. Is that the same thing? I feel like it is the same thing. Anyways, Sur La Table. Sur La Table. I got three items from there, but that's all for like my mom and stepdad, so it's kind of like one gift. And then at Nordstrom Rack, I got one gift, and at Saks Off Fifth, I got two gifts. I'm gonna go now. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm still in a really like hype mood. It's only 4.33. Overall, successful. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go next, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed my shopping day. Sorry I didn't film too, too much in the stores, but overall, girl, if you are still trying to go shopping, you can still save money. I didn't go shopping on Black Friday, and I'm still getting great deals on great stuff, high quality items. That's the thing, like, I don't wanna just give my family, like, stuff, like, just to have stuff. Like, I wanna give them something that they're gonna use, something that's high quality, something that they can appreciate, because I don't wanna waste my money on just stuff. Come on now, please. So, I think that that was a successful shopping trip. I'm extremely excited about it. I think I'm gonna go to the container store and or Crate and Barrel. I'm gonna see what's down here first. But all right, I'll catch you on the flippity flop. See you tomorrow, unless something exciting else happens tonight, then I'll insert that clip later. But I think this vlog is like super long right now. So, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving Jesus, boo, bye.